Hey everybody, Jason here, and in today's video, I'm going to go over 10 items that I sold last week. Okay, had a pretty good sales week last week, and I kind of wanted to go over 10 of the items I sold. This is not all of the items that I sold, um, but these are the ones that I feel like maybe uh, you can get a little information from, maybe kind of be on the lookout for similar items in your area. So if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by and please uh, consider clicking that subscribe button and uh, liking the videos and I'll definitely be bringing more. Uh, if you're returning, thank you so much for watching again. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I always enjoy reading the comments and responding uh, to anything, uh, any questions there or comments or anything like that. So again, this week was a pretty good sales week. By the way, I tried doing this video and using my uh, camera like everybody else does and putting a little you know, video of me in the right hand corner of the picture, but for some reason I got some horrible lip sync issues, meaning that me talking on the video was not matching up with the actual audio coming out of the video, so I don't know what's going on. I, I YouTubed a bunch of videos about it and it seems to be an ongoing issue. Um, I'm on an iMac and I'm using QuickTime Player, so if anybody has any clue how to kind of merge the, the lip syncing together where it'll uh, be simultaneous, let me know, because it's hard. I, I just have to do this like I'm doing it now. So, all right, let's jump into the video. So here's the first item uh, that we sold. Uh, I'm sure you, if you watch my other videos, you saw these in a haul video. Um, these were actually Adidas, as you can see the three little Adidas logo there. Let's do this right here. You can really see. It's kind of hard to see because it's in black. But I wasn't sure who these were made by. Um, it had this weird um, name on the side and I couldn't find anything and then finally on the tag it's right there in the lower left hand corner says Adidas I had no clue until I was listing them um, they were only online a couple of days and I know I have them listed for 80 but I could not find an exact comp on these so I kind of went high and wanted to see what t what type of offers I got within a couple of days somebody offered me 55 actually he started at 50 and we settled at 55 so uh, again, I, you know, if I only have something online a couple of days and I get a halfway decent offer, I'll go ahead and take it. Um, now, on this one, the guy actually has not paid yet, so um, hopefully he will pay. It has been two days past, and um, my eBay store after two days automatically starts, uh, what is it called, the eBay process where eBay gets involved. So eBay's involved now, trying to figure out, uh, trying to get the guy to pay. So hopefully he will. If not... I'm sure they'll sell again because they were getting a lot of activity. All right, the next item that we sold this week is a Crosswalk Coach Plus Grade 3. Um, this is a uh, kind of a learning, uh, I think it's for, uh, of course, Grade 3, uh, for school-aged school children. Um, it's a book that I did pick up at uh, Goodwill, and I was going to send it in Amazon, but then I noticed the um, listing up for Amazon they were putting some sort of other book with it, and I didn't notice that when I picked it up. A lot of times when you're scanning books for Amazon, uh, you know, you're scanning it, you're looking at it real quick, you're putting it in the buggy and moving on. And so unfortunately, um, I wasn't wasn't able to send this one to Amazon in to Amazon, but it's okay. Um, I, I did get full price for this one, which was $30. I paid $2 for it. Uh, it's gonna, sh it shipped for $3 media mail. eBay and PayPal got about three bucks. So I made $22 profit off this item. Okay, this um, Olympus digital uh, lens here, I don't know a whole lot about camera lenses, uh, but I do know that they can be valuable. So I went ahead and picked this one up. I actually sold this one once and it ended up getting returned because the, uh, the customer stated that it did not fit their camera. Uh, and the first time I actually sold it for full price of $50. Uh, this time I sold it for uh, best offer of 40 and I have and it's been sold I think for over a week now and I haven't heard anything from the buyer so uh, hopefully they're happy um, so on this items the numbers break down I, I purchased it for seven I sold it for 40 uh, it cost me eight dollars to ship it uh, eBay and PayPal fees was five dollars so I made twenty dollars total profit all right here's another uh, grade school book. This is a middle school go math book. Um, this one I knew I couldn't sell it on Amazon. Um, so sometimes if I look at books and I think, hey, you know, 
I can't sell it on Amazon or there's no listing. I always look on eBay. And I think this one I might have been restricted on Amazon, so I checked eBay real quick. Um, just kind of a tip there. If you scan a book and it's going for a decent amount of money on Amazon, uh, I would definitely check it on eBay because it'll probably go, be going for half of that or a little bit less. And this was the case. This one might have been $50 on Amazon. I honestly can't remember. Um, but I was able to get 20 bucks out of it. I got full asking price on this one. So um, this one is a hardcover. So I paid $3 for this one. Uh, sold it for $20. Uh, it shipped for $3. eBay and PayPal fees were 2 So I made $13 profit off of this book. And books are easy. As you can see, front, back. Then I kind of get like a, a side view where they can see the binding here. And then I open it up to one page and show them that there's that there's no writing inside. So. All right, this one uh, <laughs> this was a pretty good little sale here. I've been sitting on these for probably three months now. I was in a thrift store and one of the resellers were in there and it's a somebody that I've kind of actually started talking to every time I go in there. Real nice guy. He's an older guy. And he, uh, he resells locally. He doesn't do eBay or anything like that. So if we're in the same thrift store together and he finds something that he thinks might be valuable on eBay, he, he calls me over and says, hey, why don't you pick these up? So I was in there and I actually already seen them and, and passed them. I didn't even look them up. I mean, I didn't think anything about them. There's just these little, these little teddy bears with a, that's a bottle of like cologne that's in their hand. So I, they're called Fateful Friends. I didn't think anything about it. They were 99 cents a piece, but I'm like, well, those things aren't worth anything. And this kind of goes to show, you know, kind of slow down a little bit and, and look up some unique items because these are kind of unique. And he showed me an eBay listing where he looked it up and he said, yeah, you can sell these on eBay. So I did. I actually got full price for these. They set again for about three months, um, but I did get $60 for them. And as you can see up here in the description, uh, but these appear to be new, but a few were possibly open. All the cologne has never been open. So if you're not 100% sure whether they really are new, just put something in there to kind of cover you. And I wasn't 100% sure that these had never physically been open because some of them did open up from the top pretty easily. So sold these for uh, 60 I paid $5 for them. Uh, it shipped for 8 eBay, eBay and PayPal got around $7. So my net profit on these were 40 bucks. That is awesome on an item that I wasn't even going to pick up. So here are the shape ups that I picked up in one of my recent haul videos. Uh, shape up sale. I think I mentioned that in the video. And if you want to see how I kind of take pictures of my shoes, I had this little stand right here that I got from Amazon. And a lot of times I'll lean the other shoe against it, but these things are so bulky I couldn't really do it. Um, but I, I do a picture like that so you can see the first two shoes. And then I just take one of them and kind of just display the sides and the back the other side uh, you know the, the customer can hover over it and kind of zoom in and really see the details of the shoe these shoes were in phenomenal condition they look like they had rarely uh, been worn so and then I always come back and show both shoes where they can kind of see the the fronts of them there I didn't even have to clean these things up really they were just in phenomenal condition and if you've never seen shape ups before here's how the bottoms look they're supposed to, I think, tone and help you lose weight. So, but they're not, my understanding is they're not being made anymore. So they're highly desirable amongst people who, who like them. And in here, uh, here's your tag where you can get all your sizes and everything. Um, so yeah, so these were, um, and actually on the shape ups right up here is your number, the 50877. As you can see, I put that up here in the listing. That's the style number and that'll help you look up the exact same pairs. I might have <laughs> priced these a little bit too cheap. I'm not sure because they sold within 15 minutes of me putting them up. Seriously, 15. I listened to them. I went to start me some dinner and all of a sudden, sudden I hear my phone go cha-ching. I'm like, was that those shape ups? Did I, did I list them too, <laughs> too cheap? But it's okay. Uh, anytime I sell something that quick, I'm, I'm definitely excited. Next time I might bump up to $59.99 if I can find another pair in this, this good a condition. All right, so the numbers on this, we paid $6 for it. Um, I'm sorry, we paid seven dollars. Shoes are seven, so we paid. There's there's six ninety nine. Uh, we we sold them for fifty. We shipped them for eight. eBay, PayPal got six, and our total prof profit was right around thirty dollars. So really good flip there. Uh, here with the CDs again. 
Uh, I know I, I show these a lot because um, I've bought several. I've actually had this one for probably two or three months. Um, and with CDs, it's very simple, especially when they're brand new. You just take a picture of the front and a picture of the back. And if you do a sell now off somebody else's listing, it'll fill out all this information from you. And you can see mine, brand new sealed. I mean, that's all I really put down. Uh, these, these tend to be self-explanatory with the CDs. It did sell for full asking price of $15. So um, I paid $2 for it, sold it for $15. And shipped it for three. eBay and PayPal fees were $2. Were $2. So I made $8 total profit off of it. Yeah, it's not a whole lot, but CDs you can list within a couple of minutes. So if you're willing to spend two and turn it into a net profit of eight, um, it's worth it. Okay, here is a really good sale and a really good brand to look out for if you're not familiar with it. Cool, K-U-H-L. This is a very, very good brand to look out for. Um, their stuff sells quick. They have a pretty big following. Uh, and a lot of people uh, like their their clothing. So if you'll notice in these notes, I put that these were in mint. Be very careful when you put that. If you're going to put that, it needs to be mint. Otherwise, just put you know excellent or good pre-owned condition. Uh, the reason I say that is because your customer is expecting a mint pair of jeans when they get them. These actually had some of the, the clear tags on them. Um, like the clear barbs, I guess you would call it, where somebody, where they left the barb in, but they tore the actual tag off from cool. So they literally looked like they had never been worn. So I was comfortable putting mint condition on these. I did start them out at $59.99. I got 50 bucks for them. So, um, we did pretty good. They were on, I only had them listed for about maybe a week. So if you didn't see my other videos, let me show you how I take pictures of my pants. I start out with them laying flat like this kind of fold it up and then I take a picture of the front also I can show you some of the tags on these cool uh, pants so you can be on the lookout for them so there's one right there this one I actually took a picture of the knees because it had uh, this stitching in the knees and I think there was actually some extra padding there um, so maybe these are some sort of work or rock climbing or outdoors type of jeans um, so yeah, they might have some padding there. Again, I took a, a close-up picture of the cool symbol again. Again, you always want to open the jeans and show the customer what's called the what I call the closure of the jeans. This one is a zip with an actual snap um, on these. Very important to show your cuffs. This is where the customer can look and see how much these jeans have been worn or how much life they got left in them. The cuffs uh, do show a lot and these cuffs were perfect. And then I always show the tag. There's your cool tag. That's what you want to be on the lookout for. They always have the two dots above the U. So that is what you want to be on the lookout when you're out there thrifting. And then actually on the inside, this was pretty cool. On the inside of the pocket, they actually had the name of these jeans. So I used a lot of this right here. Um, the uh, cell phone pocket, born free, uh, what is that? Jested crotch, freedom to move, articulated, knee, articulated knees. I put all this in the listing. Uh, this is all good information right here. Ergonomical design fit. I mean, all this is perfect to put in your listing. Um, so that when the buyer reads it, they get a better idea. Here are the back of the cool jeans. And then I kind of got up here on this belt loop because they had their logo, which is these uh, uh, mountains. So I went ahead and zoomed in on that. And then I always do one picture of them hanging. And then I do a picture of the back of them. And with jeans, uh, you definitely want to be careful with your lighting. Um, you don't want to uh, wash out the actual color of the jeans. And I'm not sure if these are showing up correctly, but these actually had a green tint to them. And I did um, notate that uh, in the listing that, um, that they have a, a green tint to them. So. so yeah, so we sold these for $50. Uh, we paid, I paid seven for them. Uh, they shipped. Uh, they actually shipped for six seventy-five in a in a flat rate envelope, uh, but I rounded that up to seven. eBay and P PayPal fees were six dollars, and we net profited thirty bucks. Okay, uh, this one I've also had for a couple months. This is a new old stock. What new old stock means is that it's still brand new sealed, but it hadn't been made in years. Um, I have no clue exactly when this was made. Um, but this is uh, for use, it's a, it's a ribbon, it's a refill ribbon. So um, it sold for full price of $25. Always look up your 
any type of old um, electronic, you know, not necessarily ink, but this is a ribbon. I, I guess it kind of goes to a typewriter maybe. Um, so I always look this kind of stuff up. Basically, it's brand new sealed. I got full price of $25 for this. I paid three bucks. Uh, it shipped for $4. And eBay and PayPal fees were $3, $3, and I made $15 in the end off of it. So nice little sale. Okay, here is the Netgear modem that was in one of my haul videos. Um, this Netgear modem I found at what I call my favorite thrift store, favorite Goodwill. Um, it's, it's the Netgear D6200. It did have a bunch of scratches on the face of it, um, but, but I plugged it in and everything worked. Uh, perfect um, for the uh, you know it came on the lights came on everything looked great uh, I've shipped this out about a week ago he's already received it and there were apparently no issues so uh, modems be on the lookout for modems there is uh, some good money there so uh, the breakdown of this one we paid uh, nine dollars for it sold it for 50 shipped it for nine eBay and PayPal fees were six dollars and we made a total of $26 off of it in the end. So there you go. I hope you all enjoyed the 10 items um, that I sold this week that I felt that y'all can maybe uh, get some information off of to help you out there while you're looking for items to pick up from thrift stores uh, to resell. If you got any questions, be sure to leave them below. You know, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, hit the bell so you know when I send out another video. And I really do appreciate everybody watching. And uh, good luck out there reselling this week.